Thank you for choosing ACL Statisite Dissipative Floor Finish, the perfect option for companies with standard vinyl VCT, linoleum, ESD tile, or epoxy. This video will instruct you on how to apply an ACL Statisite Dissipative Floor Finish so you can protect your work environment against static damage. Step 1. Prepare the floor by stripping the current finish using a mop or auto scrubber with a black abrasive pad. It is important to be thorough with this process as you do not want to apply the new finish on top of any remaining old finish. After scrubbing the floor with the stripper solution, remove the remaining liquid using a squeegee as this will ensure you fully remove the old finish and any liquid left over by the stripper. Step 2. Thoroughly rinse the floor surface with clean water utilizing a mop and a bucket. Avoid contamination by using separate clean pails and mops for stripper removal, rinsing, and floor finish. Next, rinse the floor surface a second time. This is essential as it ensures all stripper has been removed. Step 3. Now that the stripper has been removed, the floor needs to dry. Allowing the floor to dry naturally is preferable, but forced air can be used if the area receives heavy traffic. After the floor is dried, check that the surface has no traces of the stripper left on it. Do this by running your hand gently across the floor, then checking your hand for any signs of residue. If stripper still remains, rinse the floor again. Step 4. Once the surface is dried, you are ready to start the first application of your Statisite Dissipated Floor Finish. Remember to use a new clean pail or plastic liner and mop. Begin outlining the area by spreading the finish around the edges first, then work your way from left to right, beginning at the top left of the floor surface. This first coat should be thin rather than thick. Thin coats are better than thick, heavy coats. Next, wait 45 to 60 minutes for your first coat to dry. When it is dry, you can begin the second coat of Statisite Dissipated Floor Finish. The second coat should be slightly heavier than the first coat to optimize full coverage. Start from the bottom right of the floor surface and work your way up from right to left, creating an opposite pattern from the first coat application. After you have applied the last coat, normal traffic may resume in six to eight hours. Allowing the floor surface to dry overnight offers best results. General Application Tips To avoid contamination, use separate clean pails and mops for stripper and floor finish or use a plastic liner. Allow the floor to dry naturally. Do not use forced air. Do not mix ESD floor finishes with one another or other non-ESD floor finishes. Maintenance of your new Statisite floor is vital. Floor surfaces should be swept with an untreated dry mop daily to remove loose dirt and sand. Floors can also be cleaned weekly with either a light mop cleaning or heavier machine cleaning. In addition, a full strength top coat should be applied every four to six weeks after cleaning. It is also crucial to begin a program of taking regular surface resistance readings. For detailed instructions on these maintenance processes and instruments for testing resistivity, please visit our website at aclstatuside.com.